Hey there everybody, uh, it's the mage again. Uh, here for my Kingsport Lighthouse video today. Um, so thanks for everyone in the Discord, uh, Cordless's Discord, for uh, helping me with uh, suggestions. Um, so yeah, so let's uh, let's get to it. Um, so just generally um, spent a few days doing this. Um, I am on Xbox um, and it does contain the use of a lot of mods. Um, yeah, it took me some time, but I decided to uh, go for like a, a, a sort of my my normal theme um, that I'm working on at the moment. Um, it's more of a uh, it's like a entrepreneurial settlement settlers sort of thing, um, you know, like businesses of the Commonwealth. Um, so yeah, so I decided that uh, the people that have taken over Kingsport Lighthouse have. Uh, you know, varied minds, scientists, engineers, and uh, you know, and a few various people, and they've decided to make a shop. So, uh, as we come past our uh, armored guards, as um, as I love to pop them in at the entrance of every settlement, as a, uh, I mean, how much more protected are you going to get when you have mini gun turrets and people in power armor? I mean, that's you know, that's pretty much it. Um, so we can see one of our shops there. Um, and over here we have um, sort of like a it's like the first entrance area so as you come in you know some people don't actually need to you know come all the way in and use all the facilities but you know here we you know we have a little waiting area kind of rest sort of stop you know uh, there's a bench there that um, actually I, I managed to sink one of the junk fences down a little bit and, and use the uh, supports um, put a bit of wood on there and sort of made it a raised platform and you know you got the cooking station there and the bench so uh, and what most people would come here for is uh, to drop off their scrap or, or pick up some other scrap so uh, you know we we pretty much got it all here um, so as you can see our uh, shop called scrap um, Thanks for your help. Fine. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it generally has everything that you need. Like I say, we uh, this settlement uh, is based that it, it produces its own items to sell to people. Um, so that's basically it. And everyone obviously works here. There's a lot going on. People have various, you know, various things that they're doing here. So um, it's kind of a bit split between sort of engineers and and kind of you know the, the sh sort of business side. Um, so yeah, so, you know, it's just got the sort of standard uh, decorations everywhere. Um, sort of nice containers that I use to uh, sort of build out the back of the shop. Um, and as you can see, we've got like uh, a few more, uh, you know, little stands and doodads here. And, and we also have a, a long conve conveyor belt um, just going off into the distance there, um, which is great. And we'll uh, see where that goes later. But essentially, you uh, you know, you drop off all your scrap. Um, you know, and the, and the shopkeeper will then Thanks drop it all help. on the conveyor belt, and uh, it'll go away to be processed. Uh, it's other things that we will then be selling in our in our other store over here. So, um, so yeah, so as you can see, you know, it's, it's sort of the uh, illusion of a, a powered sort of fence there, and and yeah, so it's nice and uh, it's nice and closed off. Uh, he says as a settler is just casually strolling through. Um, so yeah, so we come through the chain link fences and we're sort of in a bit more of an open area here um, where we have our store um, guns and camps. Um, and there's also a power armor repair station here as well. So um, you can take the power armor repair route, but um, I'll take you through the front entrance first. So we kind of have like this bunker um, that is raised up here on the platform, which um, I kind of just liked the look of once I'd finished it. But when I was doing it, I was thinking, oh, this looks terrible. But, you know, I'm quite happy with it now. And, um, you know, as you come in, you can see we've got our, like, gated off uh, weapons shop area. Um, you know, all the, all the supplies and stuff, everything made here at Kingsport. Um, and also we have our kind of a power armor station. Sorry, I'm, I'm not interested today. I'm, I'm healthy, thank you. Um, so yeah, so uh, sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, so you know we have our power armor repair station here. Cause, uh, as you saw, we do have guards here that have power armor, and also uh, you know we got all the materials here that uh, you could need if you wanted to repair that. Um, so yeah, so here we also have our chem station uh, where you can come and buy your chems. We sell it all. You know, you want jet? We got jet. You know, Mama Murphy is one of our biggest customers. Um, so yeah, so you know, we we got it all here. Every, everything you could need to get yourself fit and healthy. 
And uh, yeah, as you can see, you know, you obviously got the chem stations uh, at the back of the desk, you know, if you need to do some uh, last minute adjustments to uh, someone's prescription, so to speak. Um, so yeah, so uh, even though it's quite cramped, I like the way it turned out and um, the shopkeeper has no trouble actually standing there, which is great. Um, so over here on the weapon side, uh, just to take a little look here, um, you know, just all the general um, sort of platter mods um, that I've used just to get everything down. Um, more than happy to decorate things myself, but you know, it's one of those things with time restrictions and the fact that I'm on Xbox, it's difficult to um, use OC Decorator to place every Please single thing up. down, um, which then up. really slows up the computer. Um, so yeah, so I try to do everything in sort of like sections. So, so yeah, so this is the uh, the sort of the main the main big store that we have here. Um, as you saw earlier, you know, we've got the the shutters and everything for the windows and stuff, which is which I think is really cool. Um, and here is the exit. Um, as you can see, we've got the uh, cool little garage door here. Um, a nice little dust animation when it opens. Um, and we've got some uh, Nuka Nuka lights here as well. Um, and yeah, just sort of a bigger exit because obviously, if you're in power armor, you're going to be slightly bigger than a normal person. So um, we won't go through the junk fence. We'll go through the house so you can see what's uh, inside. Um, generally, I haven't changed too much in the house um, from what it is. You know the way that you find it. Um, obviously, no children of the atom in there. Um, but yeah, so uh, you know, as you come in, um, we have our uh, little TV area, um, sort of slash reception but you know people can sort of just sit there and, and the people that work here obviously are going to use that because um, settlers love to randomly sit down um, yeah and you know you've got some filing cabinets um, here's outside the back of that junk fence um, so as you can see there's an APC there um, with the back open um, so I left the terminal there as well um, so it still has the original you know the original stuff from that's uh, in the vanilla game um, if you ever cared to read that so yeah <laughs> Um, and then yeah, as you can see, you know, we've got a, a kitchen area here, we've got running water here, um, you know, we've got the refrigerator there, um, yeah, you know, just just packed a normal kitchen, how I guess most people will probably uh, build their kitchens and fall out, but you know, you know, cooking stove over there that you can uh, work in cooking stove, workstation, um, yeah, and the original table with just a little few bottles in the middle there, you know, just to... Uh, Give it a bit of life. Um, so yeah, so also um, one thing to note is I, I tried not to change many of the original buildings here. Um, although I am using a mod which sort of cleaned up Kingsport Lighthouse. Um, yeah, most of the things are kind of normal. Um, you know, just general repairs that you know you would be able to do with the vanilla game and maybe a few little uh, glitches. But yeah. You know, so it's, it's not it's not too much different here, um, and yeah, you know, just some general shelves, general clutter, um, you know, because just like it to feel lived in. Um, nothing, nothing worse than big empty spaces when I'm making uh, settlements, which always frustrates me. And being on Xbox, sometimes you need those big empty spaces to sort of free up some memory. So, you know, you have to uh, take the rough with the smooth, so to speak. Um, so yeah, so uh, as we uh, move on outside here, um, you'll be able to see, you know, a uh, bit more of the bit more of the boundary wall. Um, we have our APC here, and just sort of a little storage area around the side. Um, so yeah, so you've got the APC. You can actually sit in that as well, um, and uh, yeah, you've got the little storage over there, which is actually. Um, from the tonight you sleep on the couch mod um, and it's actually just a big load of railings that provides four beds to the settlement um, which is really handy I recommend that if you uh, are building a settlement that has settlers in that keep complaining about beds but you haven't really got space to build them beds uh, anymore so uh, yes yeah, so that really helped out um, so yeah so here's the back of the scrap shop um, so we'll take a little trip and we will find out where this conveyor belt goes um, so yeah, you know, as you can see here, it's a really long conveyor belt. Um, you know, we've got the sort of mechanical arm there uh, to do its duty, sorting out some of the items. Um, and here you can see the um, 
wind turbine as well. Um, so yeah, so and, and just sort of around the corner here, uh, apologies there, uh, sort of uh, the fusion on Xbox of my clips is not great. Um, so just around the back here, obviously you can see the, um, you know, just more machinery and stuff like that uh, for the, you know, power in the conveyor belt. Um, like I said, I try to make everything look as sort of as realistic as I can, um, with the restrictions that be. So, so yeah. So forgive me for that. But um, yeah. So uh, as we come down the steps now, um, we'll go through the lighthouse in a little while. Um, you can see kind of this is like our industrial shipping area. Um, so yeah. So we come past these like little cloth fences, which are they look really great. Uh, you know, billowing in the wind and stuff. Um, and we get to our dock area. Um, so yeah, so down the side here, you can you know we, you can see the all of our water treatment processes, and uh, you know you've got the boat over there. Um, and yeah, you know, so in here is like our sort of main office. Um, haven't finished decorating it yet, as like I said, it sort of gets a bit difficult once you've built a certain amount of stuff on Xbox. It just starts jittering a little bit. But um, here we have our main terminal, which actually controls all of the uh, conveyor belts and workshop related things as well so uh, that's all wired up and uh, good to go um, and uh, I did use uh, sort of conduits as well um, so you don't actually see the wires dangling around everywhere which is quite handy um, was always impressed when they came out um, so yeah so this is our, our sort of main you know workshop area um, just to sort of show you upstairs um, I haven't finished this yet but um, as you can see, there are uh, some slight clipping issues with some of the uh, some of the machines because they're super tall, um, way taller than one normal squared room, which is uh, quite frustrating. Um, you can shrink them down, but uh, prefer them normal size just for aesthetic looks. Um, so on top of here, I probably will build uh, another sort of workshop with different different machines in, um, and then do something with that. So. Uh, so yeah, so this is sort of the uh, the collection entrance, so to speak, where you can kind of get a quick glimpse of all the uh, sort of stuff we built. But what we'll do is we'll quickly super speed down here, and uh, we'll go around the side entrance here, um, so you can sort of see the way that it all works. Um, so yeah, so uh, as you can see, you know, on top, you know, you've got all the sort of industrial machines there working away. Um, I like it to look sort of similar throughout the build, even though there's kind of a few things, different things going on. Um, seems to be one of my main problems when I build settlements, sort of get a load of ideas and try and cram everything in. Um, but, uh, try my best to stick to one theme. Um, so as you can see here, yeah, you've got your uh, conveyor belts going, um, items on the floor yeah, as normal. Um, never expect it to go as smoothly as you like. Um, so yeah, so you know, as you can see, you've got items pumping out there, and you've also got the uh, hopper as well from the main conveyor belt. Uh, so when people drop their items in, they uh, also get dropped onto the same conveyor line, uh, and they will go into the recycler. Um, so the recycler breaks down any random items you put down into its sort of base components, and then yeah, straight into the conveyor storage. Um, so the conveyor storage has got uh, a couple of extractors um, sort of going off onto different machines. Um, so this one comes around here, um, and then you have the option to split uh, either way. Um, so it has like a little mechanical arm that sort of separates which way the items go. Um, so yes, yeah, so it's just uh, we get back to the beginning. I can sort of show you everything and, and how it's working. So uh, you'll notice here we have obviously uh, lots of refrigeration units and the Nuka Cola cooler. Um, so that's a really cool contraption, um, and it comes along with the Nuka Cola bottling plant. Um, so yeah, so from there you can make Nuka Cola. Um, you can also make bottle caps, which is quite funny. Um, so you just build your own caps from from stills. Pretty great, uh, infinite money. And uh, here we have the uh, chem processor. Um, so yeah, so we obviously we uh, distribute our own chems here, as you see in the shop earlier. Um, so this is the place where they're all made. So. Uh, from people's various items and our uh, technicians um, who are not to be seen. Um, we have our working uh, chemistry stations here as well. Um, they obviously look like tables, so I've, I've obviously used a mod for those. Um, 
but yeah, I think they, they turned out really great. Um, and also I kind of wanted it to be the one sort of workshop area with the only free space I had left. So over here you can see uh, the weapons uh, sort of crafting area workshop. Um, yeah, which also turned out really, really nice um, in a nice little compact area. Um, so down this side you see the, uh, you know, all of the sort of random weapon storage related items. Uh, and then our big container for catching the weapons when they come out of the weapon forge. Um, so yeah, so it all works pretty smoothly. Um, I have tested it and had items come out. Um, I didn't do it while I was recording because I did notice it started getting really jittery. Um, I tried my best, guys. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, so one of my favourite sort of workshop builds that I have done so far. Um, you know, with with working conveyor belts and stuff, and yeah, it kind of worked out really well for me. So. Um, yeah, I appreciate the, the help that everyone gave me, um, you know, in, in the Discord chat. Uh, I bombarded everyone with questions until they get really frustrated, but um, it is really appreciated and uh, it's helping me uh, progress in my skills. Um, so yeah, so as we go through here, um, we'll go back up the stairs and we will check out the lighthouse. Um, so yes, you know, we get a nice uh, quick view down there again of the, you know, the boat and the distribution area. Um, so I do, uh, it did take kind of a long time to, to figure out what I wanted to do with the lighthouse. So you can see it's a, a big industrial mess, um, but there is method to my madness. Um, so hopefully you could uh, understand my ideas and obviously being limited on Xbox there's only so much that I can do um, so I wanted to make it like a, an industrial uh, engineering sort of place so it's been converted um, you know you see all the piping everywhere um, and as you come in the bottom here you can sort of see all the machinery um, and of our original workshop but um, you know some sort of extra machines that you probably wouldn't expect to find in the lighthouse um, just before we continue up there um, you can see here we do have you know this big sort of pipe in uh, that goes into uh, the lighthouse which is uh, helping with the uh, power and pressure systems uh, yeah so um, as we go up the lighthouse so here you can sort of see here this is where the piping does go into the lighthouse uh, and it does go all the way to the top so uh, that was great um, that comes from uh, pipes galore by uh, Etheron so um, much appreciated for those. Uh, that was really handy. Um, so yes, you know you've got uh, more industrial um, and machines and sort of computers and piping as we go up here. Um, still, obviously, would have loved to have been able to put more decoration on the inside on the walls. And you know, if I could, I would have built the whole the whole lighthouse out of you know metal sheets. But um, unfortunately, I just can't do that. On Xbox is here. My console would probably blow up. Um, so yeah, so as we get to the top, as you can see, you know, it's sort of tapered off there, um, and then goes into the main sort of lighthouse area, and we have more consoles and everything there. Uh, so you can actually see, uh, you know, some of the um, sort of surrounding buildings there, um, and we will check those out in a moment. But so yeah, so at the top of the lighthouse, uh, there's no ghoul, I'm afraid. Uh, however, there is a red box, uh, which is a terminal. Um, which I like to think of as the emergency shutdown terminal. So if there's ever a big problem and the facility is overloading, that's the place you would have to go to turn everything off. Just as inconvenient as any plot theory. Why is the emergency button so far away? Why isn't it just in the office where you would need it? That's why it's in the lighthouse. That's, that is why. <laughs> so yeah, so up here, you know, you can see that big uh, arc jet there um, which has obviously now been uh, merged into the lighthouse and being repurposed for their own uh, evil evil deeds um, so we will quickly speed down the stairs um, because you know he wants to watch a whole load of lighthouse stairs um, and we will go and check out uh, all of the sort of um, industrial buildings around the side so uh, first things to note, we do have like these uh, industrial sort of mechanical arms there, and uh, you know that you sort of see them dotted around everywhere. Um, because like I say, this is a big industrial place. It's sort of big, heavy things, and you know people got to move stuff, and people, you know, there's a lot of things to do. Um, so as we make our way upstairs, uh, we can marvel at the, uh, the slight movement there of those tarpaulins 
which is great and uh, you can see a little bit of the uh, industrial bit there um, so with the lighthouse uh, in regards to that um, you know I tried to make sure that it's you know still looked as a uh, sort of repurposed as possible um, with all the you know the the I believe they're called machine greebles um, correct me if I'm wrong on there but that's kind of what from what I remember they were called um, so yeah so uh, in our sort of first build here you know we have more um, more sort of computers and machinery uh, you know all going towards uh, controlling all of the systems for this uh, huge 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 machine that they've decided to build uh, on top of the lighthouse um, you can see all my supports um, you know I like everything to look as uh, immersive as I can possibly make it so you know if there was no supports the whole thing would fall down so uh, I did spend quite a lot of time making it look uh, as supported as possible uh, there are some places that don't look that great but you know you won't see them hopefully um, so yeah, so we've got some uh, some settlers here. Yeah, thanks Hayden, that's great. And yeah, yep, thanks scientists, yep, here for the inspection today. Um, so yeah, so as we go into this building, you know, we have uh, more general uh, sort of uh, machines and chem stations and stuff like that. And also uh, a lot of these are actually scavenging stations, so... Um, the settlers do just sort of randomly decide to use them now and again which is pretty cool um, and you sort of randomly find settlers working doing different stuff every time you come through here uh, first time I came through here I'm pretty sure every settler was in this one little area uh, just scavenging on stuff so it was a little bit random um, but yeah so it, it looks really nice but um, it's, a, it's part of a mod that I have um, that I'll try and link in the description at some point um, along with all the other mods uh, which I'm really uh, appreciative of uh, especially being on Xbox because uh, you know once you finish Fallout originally it's kind of a bit dead there was nothing else I could do um, and then as soon as the mods come out absolutely just breathe new life into the game so really appreciate it for everyone who puts all their hard work into that um, so yeah so you know as uh, we're getting closer to the top now uh, we'll just sort of speed up here um, we're coming into the uh, final building, so here you can sort of see the uh, tip of the arc jet with a, a little bit of plasma coming out the end there. Um, so yeah, so as you can see, it's a pretty hefty now uh, weaponized sort of lighthouse turret, so to speak. Uh, so here we you know some more uh, what are actually scavenging stations, but this is a, another sort of workshop area with. Uh, some more of the dangerous materials a bit closer to the top because uh you know less collateral damage in the sky people below will be fine hopefully they will uh get out of the way so yes yeah, so you can uh, sort of marvel at that and we'll see you know, have the uh, the institute lift the machines there you know helping it helping it be propped up so it doesn't just fall from the sky uh and yeah so it's uh the, the purpose of uh, the lighthouse has uh, you know been repurposed it made uh, all of the you know all the new machines you know generating all this energy to uh, power that big gun um, as you can see you know got all the uh, sort of memory consoles and, and computers and sort of DEMA computers and stuff like that so they're really cool and uh, we also have our little mechanist robots working away because uh, you know, the robo brains are super smart. We can't have uh, people making human errors when we have a a giant laser on top of a lighthouse. That's just madness. So uh, yeah, so you know, we uh, got some robo brain help in, and uh, these guys, twenty four seven, non stop typing. They just don't stop. I mean, look at this guy. Just never. St oh, he stopped. Nope. Okay, and now he's going again. There you go. Uh, so yeah, so um, that's pretty much all of the buildings. Um, you know, there's obviously still there could be potential for plenty more to have been done, um, but unfortunately, I kind of feel that I reached the capacity of the Xbox um, as it started sort of really locking up on me, and I wanted to sort of stop before it started crashing. So I didn't have a crash yet, um, thank God, but. Uh, 
Yeah, it's just, uh, I'm just glad we got to this place. Um, so yeah, so uh, here's a little bit of a better view of the, the weapon that's been built up here with the arc jet. You know, we've got some other loaders there as well. You know, uh, just to keep up the maintenance and that. So yeah, so I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, my name is Black Mage, as usual, and uh, thanks for watching.